Okay, quick video here. I'm going to be upgrading my Prusa XL to the latest firmware of 6.0. I've copied the firmware onto the USB key. And of course, filament's falling off the shelf. And insert that in there. And then we reset. And then we're going to say flash. And we wait and see what happens. Hopefully it is successful. <laughs> oh, there we go. Looked like it was stuck there for a second. <clears throat> now it's moving. Hopefully that's readable on the screen. Supposedly get a lot quieter printer, you get touch screen and a couple other things, but the touch screen and the much quieter will be nice to see. Or nice to not hear. Flashing modular bed. Hmm. So they must have done something with the heated bed too. I wonder what they did with that. Please complete calibration and tests before using printer. Okay. <clears throat> so then we go to it's control, calibration and tests. So what doesn't have a green check mark on it? There we go. 13 phase stepping calibration. Da, da, da. Yeah, if you want to learn more, continue. It's going to pick a tool. It's got a. 
Do we want to see the printer or do we want to see the screen? Well, let's just wait and see what it does on the screen and then if we have to, we'll grab it. doing for the calibration X motor one of four I'll just read off what's on the screen and we can watch what the printer is doing is it two of four Three of four. I'm going to assume that it only needs to do this with one tool. four of four. It'll probably do it in the Y direction as well and possibly the Z. More than likely not the Z though. Because that one doesn't make very much noise because it doesn't move nearly as much as the X and the Y. They, they allow you to turn off the side sensors or the or the sensors on the extruders independently of each other all right so now it's doing the y calibration and this is one of one of four so if you wanted to turn your side sensors off you could use a lot more filament on the last bit of your spool because it'll only run out when it hits the extruder so now you're not left with like 38 inches of wasted material, but more than likely you'll have to manually unload it, unload it by taking the PTFE tube out of the extruder and pulling it out by hand, but that's a small price to pay for getting a little bit of extra filament out of all your spools. That means it'll only be a couple inches of filament. Uh, Okay, we're on three of four on the Y. Oh yeah, the uh, I also remember that this will have a clog sensor. Uh, I've heard people having issues with that, so hopefully that's an option I can turn off if it is an issue. Um, What else is there? There's probably a couple other things that I'm missing. I'm sure there's lots of little fixes and changes that they've made that didn't make the top 10 list. But being quieter 
will definitely be nice. Done with the Y. Okay. Let's look at what the screen says here. Looks like it reduced it by quite a bit. Uh, X reduced by 92% and Y reduced by 98%. I think I'd say that's pretty decent. <laughs> okay. I don't think I have anything that I can quickly print. Uh, all right, but actually we need to go back to the screen. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so that appears to be all calibration. Everything else has a green check mark. Okay, so let's go to settings. And I'm going to go to filament sensors, and you can turn all the side filaments on, all the tool head ones off. Nice. I'm going to leave them off. Filament sensing. Uh, oh, you can turn stuck filament detection on and off. Good, and it's off by default. Crash detection is off still for some reason. Uh, it's probably going to be under user interface. There it is. Touch. Turn that on. Oop, okay. And return. Turn control. So the touch screen seems to be working. It's a little sluggish when you're doing the scrolling. All right, so if I say still faster to use the wheel probably but then I can yeah we're back to squeaking I'll have to figure that out again but when you're used to the wheel it's pretty faster but if I can go print like that and then other parts you know, that's not too bad uh, the the beeping's a little weird, probably because they'll have to fix that a little. Uh, info, yeah. I wonder if it's because I'm holding it too long. Let's see. Twelve kilometers of filament. Twenty thousand three hundred and sixty tool changes. Seventy four days, nineteen hours of print time. Getting up there. Yeah, the, the the beeping's a little off. Okay. Uh, at this point, I'll probably do a test print and see what happens. And if nothing major happens, then good. If not, there might be another video. Oh, thanks for watching.